This is a patient who came in with postmenopausal bleeding, an ultrasound was done which was inconclusive, and so uh, an MRI was obtained. Now on the T2-weighted sequences, we can see uh, down at the level of the cervix is that there's an ill-defined mass that really replaces the majority of the cervix. It has this intermediate T2 signal that's highly suspicious for a neoplasm. You can see the outer dark layer of the cervix preserved from about 2 o'clock to 7 o'clock, but the remaining portion is completely replaced by this mass. Furthermore, you can see that there's extension outside of the cervix itself, and so there is parametrial involvement at the right, which would place this at least as a FIGO stage 2b um, a staging system. But if you look at the entire case, we can also see cephalate to this. This is the right ureter. So there's right hydroureter, and as you come down and follow it all the way down here, you can see that the ureter is essentially obstructed by this soft tissue that's extending out into the right parametrial space. We can also see these findings nicely on the coronal uh, T2-weighted sequences where we see this ill-defined mass, intermediate soft tissue extending out to the right parametrial space and really obstructing the ureter right over there. And so these findings are compatible with the cervical neoplasm given the involvement outside the parametrium and uh, obstruction of the right ureter resulting in hydroureter. This would be staged as a FIGO stage 3B.